continue with our Apple TV series and I'm going to specifically show you this great feature that carries through all your Apple devices called AirPlay. Um, we're all familiar by now with the standalone tvOS operating system that's um, controlled using the Siri remote but today we're going to put that Siri remote to the side and we're actually going to we're actually going to project our screens be it our computer or our iPhone and we're going to put that right up to the TV really easily. So I'm going to start by showing you the computer. So here I've got my computer and I'm recording the screen so I'm going to show you both at the same time and um, basically the way AirPlay works from the computer is there's this little button up here looks like a TV and when you click on it it will find all the Apple TVs on your network and um, give you the option of connecting to them. So I'm going to click on Living Room, which is this Apple TV here, the new Apple TV. And when I do that, what's going to happen is my computer screen, I gain a second screen that's connected to here, and it goes right up to the TV. So here I am. I'm going to open my um, screen preferences, my display preferences, just to show you. And what we're working with here on the main screen we can see we have this arrangement here where we've got this is my computer screen and this is the big screen. I can arrange it however I want, but I have it set so that there are these two screens and I can go and drag things from one screen to the other. Just like that, super easy. So I could, just by doing this, I've extended my desktop and I could put anything that I'm running on my computer right up to the TV screen, which is amazing. Um, so, for example, here I've got a Safari window open. We're in the uh, Tech Couch page, and I'm just going to drag that over. Now it's up on my TV, just like that. Um, I can make this full screen. Um, if we want to play a video, you know, here's the video of the bowling on the Apple TV. There it is, right on my TV for all my guests to see. Uh, you could play anything like that. You could put files up, you could put anything. So really easy way to put your things from your desktop onto your TV. Um, if we click on the AirPlay preferences here, we see there's actually two options for, um, for the AirPlay. You can either use as a separate display, which is what we're doing right now. We've extended our desktop, or you can mirror a built-in display. And so what that does is now um, both screens are showing the same thing. Um, my screen recording has stopped, um, so that's done. Here's the screen recording I was just creating to show you uh, this video, so this is kind of ironic, but we can scroll through. This is the video I just made. I'm going to save that. Um, screen recording one, we'll call it. <clears throat> Take a few seconds to save. hide that. So now both screens are showing the same thing. This is kind of an easier way to deal with it, but the reason I don't like to use this um, mirroring is because um, now these two screens, which are different sizes, need to fit to one of the two sizes, which means that um, most likely one of them is going to look distorted. And you could choose, in again, in your AirPlay preferences, if you want it to uh, mirror the TV display, which then it looks natural up here. Or do you want it to mirror the, the computer display, in which case it looks natural here but not here. So, so that's one way to do it. Personally, I much prefer the use as separate displays. Now you've got two displays to work with and you can do whatever you want. Another great thing you can do, um, you know, this is really great, for example, for presentations. So here I've got um, some slides for my PhD presentation. And when I go into play mode, what I've got here automatically presented on the TV, my presentation. But at the same time, um, I've got my presenter screen here where I can see the time. Um, I, can see, I can see all sorts of things. I can see the next slide. I can see my notes. And here's, I'm just showing you some slides. So here was a couple cool slides that I had in where I was sh showing some of the visual perception effects. Um, so, you know, a really great way to do presentations or to, um, you know, put really anything up 
from your computer directly to the screen. So you basically just using that built-in um, AirPlay function right up here at the top and you can choose, there's different Apple TVs, I could put it to whichever one I want very easily or I can um, you know, choose how I want it to mirror versus extend my desktop. Um, so this AirPlay button is pretty cool because it's consistent across all the places you'd use it. So for example here, I actually have um, a movie. It's on my computer screen so I'm going to just drag that over to the Apple TV. I'm going to make this full screen and I've got this movie um, and I can play it. This is a new video I'm going to be posting soon. Not going to show you too much more. But um, you'll notice that right within QuickTime, which is an Apple app, and most Apple apps will have this, you can um, choose your TV right from there. So, and, so you, and you can AirPlay right from there. So let's say I turned AirPlay off, and I'm in um, you know, Safari, which is another Apple app right here. I'm going to go back to Safari. So here's my video. I'm not connected to AirPlay but right in the video window on my computer is that same AirPlay button. And right from there, I can stream this video right to my Apple TV in two clicks. So we'll put it to living room, and if I start playing, automatically, automatically will play it in full screen up on my TV. So AirPlay for the computer, for the Mac, really easy way to, um, sorry that's pause, but it's a pretty cool opening because I got a strike by chance, but really easy way to project what you're showing on your computer through any Apple app right up to your TV or just by extending your desktop, you can put anything up there. You can put finder windows, you can put documents, presentations, photos, anything you want. So I'm now going to disconnect from my Apple TV, turn AirPlay off, and I want to show you what you can do with the phone. So I'm going to close my computer. Here I've got my iPhone. I'm actually um, in the Instagram app, and from anywhere in your phone, you can slide up from the bottom to get your control panel. And then there's a button here, AirPlay, and I can choose my TV. So now I'm AirPlaying to my TV, and my phone now is right up on the TV. Everything I do on my phone happens right on the TV. Um, Instagram is a is shown in the long long way, so everything's going to look elongated. But let's say I you know here's my phone. Let's say I turned it sideways, um, it's going to fill the whole screen. Um, here's my photos app, and I've got some different photos. Uh, here's my favorites album, and um, you know I could put any photo right up to the TV really easily and uh, it's a really nice way to share photos and to look at them. So there you got a bunch of stuff. Here's a video so I could actually just play uh, the video right up to the TV pretty easily. First I need to download this video, it's in my photo stream. Here we were at the Leafs game, it was pretty awesome. Okay so um, just like that I could show anything on my screen. Um, let's say I went into the YouTube app and I'm gonna search for I'm going to go to the tech couch, tech couch, um, and if I wanted to play a video, let's say here's my channel, let's watch that same uh, pop the circle, here's another video. Once I start playing a video in the YouTube app, it's also got an airplay button which you can see right here. So the YouTube app automatically puts this, projects it up to the TV in full screen. So this is a really nice way to watch YouTube on your TV from controlling it from your phone. While the, while, while the videos are playing, I can just, you know, I'm gonna pause this, but while it's playing, I can just slide this down. I can search for my next video. I can get it ready. And whenever I'm ready to play it, how to use your TV, I could just start it right like that. And here we go, next video right up on the TV really easy way to do it. Um, similarly, you can, you can put anything up. You can put up a Safari window, um, you can put up files, you can put up, you know, here
here's my fantasy basketball, um, and I can put that up. And if I wanted to, you know, boast to my friends who were over and show them what I did last week, I could say, check this out. Here was my matchup. Look, I won 9 nothing. So, really easy way to put stuff directly up on your TV from your phone or your computer. So, to turn it off, I'm just going to, again, I'm going to slide up. I'm done with this TV, so I'm going to turn it off, turn off AirPlay, and I'm done. And now I'm back to the Apple TV. So, AirPlay is this great feature that allows you to take your screen from your computer or your iPhone, or your iPad for that matter, and just throw it right up to the TV. Um, everything else that this TV can do um, is great on its own, but the ability to also take your, your other iDevices and share them like that um, is a really great feature, works really smoothly. This is just a really great functional way to share your screen to your TV if you're working on the Apple ecosystem. So that's an overview of AirPlay, and um, just very well executed, very consistent, um, very functional. So thanks for joining us again on The Tech Coach. Take it easy.